Well, hello there. You notice anything different? That's right, we're moving on up into a big old warehouse. No more running from the garage to the RV to the garage in the rain or the snow. It's all right here and it's beautiful. But now it's time to get to work. You're gonna get to work. Yeah. I'm out of here. See ya. I'm doing the important Good luck. angles and things here. Good afternoon, adventurers. Good afternoon. If you missed our recent trip to Kentucky, definitely go check that out. We had an awesome little vacation. We stayed in this incredible tree house that looked like UFOs floating in the woods. They were so cool. But now we're back. If you guys have been following the RV renovation, you know that we've been just slugging away outside in the cold, in the snow, in the rain, everything you said in mm -hmm. the intro. And it's been pretty rough. It's actually made the project really difficult, yeah. but all that changes right now. Because we have a warehouse that we we're do. in. <laughs> How did we come by this? Well, we actually uh, have a friend of a friend who had some warehouse space available that they weren't using. Yep. And now we're using it. Aha. Yeah, so it's been great. So there, as you can see, it's a little chilly in here. There's not really any heating, but it's much better than being out in the elements. We don't have to have our ugly tarp. We don't mm. have to have this behemoth in my parents' driveway. Sorry, yes. mom and dad, it was there for a long time. <laughs> Everything we need is right outside the door, which yeah. is huge, because we used to have to run from the top of the driveway all the way down into the garage. We had a little bitty space. Everything was in our way. And now we have nothing but room. You guys want to see how much space we have in here? This much space! There's so much space! The project we are working on today is a much anticipated project. A long, long time ago, we showed you guys the design of a pullout couch that we were going to try to create in here. Um, when we pulled out our original couch, it turns out there was a ton of mold and damage that we had to repair. We couldn't just leave it there. So that project took a bit of a backseat, but it's moving up to the front seat now, you guys. We are working on it. So we've actually evolved this design a bit, and this is based on a design that I've seen a lot of other people do. Uh, we just had to modify it to kind of fit within the confines of our RV. Basically, you have these alternating slats right here, and then half of them will pull out with the front of the couch, and then the other half will stay stationary, so you can pull it out into a almost full-size bed. But the most interesting part is that when it's closed, it actually has a hinge system so that the whole thing can lift up so that we can access all the stuff that's below it, like uh, the water tank, the water heater, the furnace, all that good stuff. Can we actually build this? I guess I, we'll see. I will say I'm glad we're trying it now and not when we first started this because we knew nothing and this would have been impossible. But yeah. I'm feeling optimistic. We tried to plan it out digitally as much as humanly possible just to reduce the amount of errors we make in the moment. Um, but we're still going to make plenty of errors, oh, you guys. Oh, there but we're will gonna, be errors. We'll give it our best shot. <laughs> All right, let's start cutting and screwing. We're gonna use these boards to make the slats for the bed, but we're trying to figure out the spacing because when it's all pushed together, it'll look something like this, but we have to keep in mind that when we open the bed to fold it out, these two will move so you'll have these big gaps. We just wanna make sure nobody's butt is gonna fall and get wedged in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. I think if we get a firm enough mattress and it's spread out, yeah. I think it's gonna be okay. So now next up, we gotta cut all these down and make like 24 of them. Woo! Let the sawing begin. We were just doing kind of a dry run. Oh wait, maybe I should pause the music. Oh. We got T Swift playing in the background. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> We're just doing a dry run to make sure we got the spacing right. We miscalculated the length that we needed or how many of these we needed, I guess. And uh, we're missing three. So that's why we had to take these ones away from here and put them over there. But yeah. basically SketchUp will evenly distribute these and then kind of tell you the distance between each one. So we just ended up making a little block that was that size, putting it in the middle and spacing them out and it lined up really well. I know, I am beyond impressed. I mean, aside from our three that are missing, I think we did it. First yeah. try. We Let's didn't lay go. these out exactly right. That's why some of them are long or some, and some of them are big. We were just yeah. trying to get a sense of it, but you'll see how it all comes together yeah. in a bit. When it slides out. Yeah. 
Well, my booty definitely won't fall through there. Yours yeah. might, though. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. This could crash and burn, but yeah. whatever. I think that's fine. We already put this one in down here just to kind of anchor everything and line it up. And I think what we're going to do is put in as many of these supports as we can. And then we'll have to go get some more wood to finish it. <laughs> Took us a bit to get in the groove of putting all these uh, pieces together, mainly because we just want to make sure stuff doesn't get off kilter as we go down. So we puzzled over, <laughs> it, over it for a bit and found all the perfect spots to clamp. These one, confirmed, perfect spots. Yes, one thing we've learned about woodworking is that sometimes you just have to clamp the hell out of stuff. <laughs> That's how you get the job done. And then over here, we just pop a couple clamps on it just to add a little pressure here. We have these spacers that we've been using. All we've been doing is just alternating the length of the board and alternating where you put the screw. And that's gonna give us our two different planes that are gonna slide in and out of each other. We've also been countersinking the holes, which just means that it's a bit that kind of digs into the wood and makes a little pocket for the head of the screw. And that way it'll make it look a lot nicer because the screw will sit nice and flush with the wood. And then finally, we put in the damn screw. We're about halfway done, so we're getting there. This is probably a good time to give my typical disclaimer that I give in our videos. We are not professional woodworkers, you guys. This has been a learning process for us, mostly self-taught on YouTube. That's how we've learned all this stuff. <laughs> also, thanks for all the comments, just giving us different tips about the different stuff that we've been doing that we can improve, stuff we've been doing wrong. <laughs> and um, sometimes we do things right. That is true, sometimes we do, believe it or not. But we have learned a ton and we're really hoping that that comes through on some of these new projects that we're doing, but I'm sure we're still making plenty of mistakes, but we appreciate all the help and guidance, guys. Check it out! Our pull-out couch is done and pulling out. <laughs> Not done, but you know, we did this part. So this is it, this is all I'm doing on this project. It doesn't quite pull out to a full bed. Might have to get a custom mattress or something like that. I don't know, TBD. In all honesty, we thought we were putting in 25, or we planned for 25 slats. Turns out we needed 26. So it kind of threw off our dimensions a little bit. Things got a little wonky, but I think we salvaged it. It still looks fine and it does its job. So we're not too upset about it. Although, you know, the next time we build a pullout bed, now we'll know, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so right now the thing's a little bit wonky, but the idea is that once we install it, it'll have kind of um, barriers on each side that'll keep this straight as it pulls out. Yeah, so it'll, it'll wiggle a little bit, but not too bad. And the other thing is that you get a lot of friction from this. So if you pull it in. Yeah, if you try to. It just kind of yeah, gets stuck. It's hard to get that over that lip. So we're going to shave that down a bit and then that should be no problem. All right, not 100%, but I'd say it's like 95%. Good enough for us. We did some decisive belt sanding and we just sanded down all the spots where the friction was happening, where the wood kind of sits on top of the other wood. And it seemed to pretty much do the trick. Let's see. So Yay, now it all fits together pretty much like a glove. <laughs> yeah, see? I don't know, pretty good. Okay. I think this is gonna work. I had my doubts for, for a minute there, not gonna lie, but it's seeming like it's gonna work. Now we have to sand down this entire thing to get it nice and smooth, which sounds like a great job for you. How do I always end up with the sanding? Dang You're it. so good at it. We had to take a bit of a break on the pullout couch because we kind of got as far as we can with that. And now we have to close up all these walls so that we can install the couch on top of it. Um, so I got all this insulated up with our wool insulation. Oh yeah. And we cut a really funky panel. <laughs> <laughs> it's really gross right now, but we're gonna paint it. It's all sanded and ready, but. Yeah, so it's just gonna give us our canvas. You yeah. Guys. It should fit like a glove <laughs> as usual. All right, panel installed. Yeah. Rather than get it perfect, which is damn near impossible for us, we're going to uh, just cover everything with trim. There's a window uh, covering that goes over this and covers yeah. all this stuff up. So, you know, out of sight, out of mind. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna look really good when it's done. Just, yeah. uh, you're seeing behind the scenes. Yeah, so you'll know what it looks like underneath. <laughs> yes, for those of you wondering, we did do one of our accent walls. We still have to do the other one, but it turned out really well, I think. Mm -hmm. It was um, a, an experiment, that's for sure. Yeah, there's more to do. We didn't quite finish it, we ran out of time. And like we just mentioned, lots of trim and things will cover up all the imperfections, but pretty cool. Panel number two. 
number two. We're especially proud of this one because it had <laughs> harder cuts. And we freaking nailed it, you guys! Yeah. Check that out. Oh my god. It's almost like we're learning stuff. Yeah. We've installed all of the wall paneling and now we're trying to decide what the heck to do about the floor because right now it's just kind of the exposed subfloor. We can't put our wood flooring in there because it feathers out the floor too much and it gets in the way of a bunch of other stuff. So we just can't do it. So we need something super thin. So we're looking at some vinyl. <laughs> yeah, super thin. Yeah, there are pluses and minuses to this stuff though. It's actually um, much heavier than you would think it is. We don't have to use this whole box. We're gonna be cutting these down a lot. So it's not gonna be quite this much weight, but we're trying to be as conscious about the weight as we can. But unless we want an exposed subfloor down there, this is pretty much our only option. Here's the one we're going for, right there. Yep, the uh, Style Line Pecan. Ugh, I'll get my workout in while we're going to pay. <laughs> Golly. Well, what do you know? We got the flooring installed, or at least this little portion of it. So the process for this was really simple. We just uh, made all of our marks, cut it all down with uh, just a knife. Then we peeled the backing off of it, placed them down, and then used a roller just to make sure that the adhesive was adhered as well as possible. This stuff is not the flooring we're gonna use throughout the RV. We're gonna use a different type of flooring that's durable, waterproof, and uh, much nicer looking than this. The only reason we did this is because we just didn't want you to see the subfloor uh, below this folding couch when you lift it up. So we're gonna have a big old water tank, we're gonna have our furnace right here and the water heater. So you're only gonna see a little bit of this stuff showing through, plus I know it's peel and stick and over time it'll probably come off, but there's gonna be a lot of heavy stuff on this. The couch is gonna be fastened around it. So if some of the tiles peel or whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, walls are in, floors in, that only means one thing. Time for installation. Ah! I'm so excited and nervous. I'm always nervous at this point because <laughs> we're gonna put it all in and then be like, oh. Why shoot. did we do this? Yeah, we should have done this, should have done that. Yeah, that's oh, well. fine. We'll learn lessons and then, you know, the next time we do an RV, we'll know exactly what to do. There's gonna be a next time? No, dear God, <laughs> never. <laughs> all right, we're ready to do a little dry run of the pull-out couch. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh. All right. Oh my wow. gosh. Check this out, Look you guys. Look at it. Huh. Well, this might actually work. <laughs> Woo the frame underneath is going to have way more support than the back and going across. We just wanted to make sure we weren't too far off before we got too far in. As it is. Careful. This will definitely hold you. <laughs> so I think from here, we're going to call it a day. I think this is a pretty baller progress. We're pretty yeah. happy with it. Then we're going to pick up tomorrow and put on the finishing touches. So we're going to add the hinges here. We're going to show you how that whole part works. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll be able to properly demo this thing and oh be able to gosh. slide it in and out without any kinks. I honestly didn't think we'd get this far, <laughs> you guys. So it's... I'm pretty psyched. A lot of people, especially in our last video, were making comments about watching the weight of all the stuff that we're putting in the vehicle. Uh, I guess we haven't really mentioned that much about that, but we are very conscious about the yeah. weight. As you guys can see, we took out all the paneling, we took out all the ceiling, so everything we're putting back is about the same weight, probably some of it's even lighter stuff. So most of the stuff we're taking out is being replaced by something else. Another thing to keep in mind is that we still have the generator back there, which we're not gonna be using, and that thing weighs a freaking ton. Yes. So that's just gonna be free weight that we can add in other spots. Our fridge should be lighter, our stove should be lighter. We did add extra wood in places for extra support, and that added some weight. We're hoping that, I, I think it's gonna even out in the end. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Call it a night. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to put on some hinges, baby. Yeah, yeah. hinges. All right, we are pretty much finished oh with the couch. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> a perfect fit. Oh my gosh. All right. We ended up coming back and uh, basically reinforcing the whole thing. We told you guys how we still needed to put the supports on the wall, so those are all there. And then we also decided that we needed a bit more support in this frame because it was just too much of an open area right here and right here. So we reinforced that. Mm -hmm. And now this thing is solid as a rock, you Look guys. Look at this. Jeez. It's actually really solid. I can solid. lift my feet up now. Yeah. We also finished our face frame. Oh, it's so pretty. Check this out. We're kind of at a stopping point with this because we want to go ahead and stain this and put some polyurethane on it 
because there's gonna be a lot of you know feet kicking this and stuff, especially as we're still working on it. Yeah. So we're just gonna kind of leave this detached for now, but you can see exactly how it's gonna go on. It's gonna be attached to these slats here, and then this whole thing moves as one unit. Should we do a little demo or something? Yeah, let's show All you right, guys. demo time. Woo! We've just uh, clamped everything so it's gonna stay in place um, since we're not quite ready to fasten it. But this is basically the general idea. Oops, slides out like that. Woo! And then you have a bed. That's awesome. Yeah. So you could fit two people on there, you know, not so comfortably, but you know, <laughs> it's camping, right? But the idea is that once you put the hinges on, you can just open this up just like that. Yeah. And then that gas strut will hold it in place. And look, you can access all your stuff. All your hopes, your dreams, your regrets. <laughs> or you know, your water tank, your water heater. Oh yeah, there'll be room for that too. Then we have these heavy duty hinges. Those are gonna go right here. We also have this little support strut, which this thing can hold up to like 70 pounds. So the idea is that this is affixed in a way that's to be determined. And when you lift it, you can let go of it and it keeps it open. How yeah, cool like is that? like the back of a car or something. Yeah. Can you just see it? We have our sweet entertainment system. We chill in here with our projector projecting over on this wall. Oh, baby. One day. We're getting closer <laughs> and closer, you guys. Cheers. Yay to completing our first official project in the new garage. Yes, if you're wondering, we're drinking box wine. <laughs> this stuff is actually delicious. This is our new favorite jam. It lasts forever. <laughs> yeah, although we prefer the Merlot, but we ran out. This has actually been probably my favorite project that we've worked on. I don't know about, about you, but... Mostly my favorite. <laughs> it had some challenges, but yeah. ultimately we got the project done. We're very happy with how it turned out. It feels good. It feels like there's light at the end of this yeah. never ending tunnel. It's Friday night, you guys. So we're gonna call it a day a little bit early and we're gonna go chill. No, yeah. I'm gonna go edit this video actually. <laughs> I gotta do that right now, so. Goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road one day.